come back guys I just realized there's an issue let me go in here I realized that there's an issue with the topology in here it's not flowing neatly as this here for me to, for you to catch that detail for my alpha so I just I've just drawn a selection around this a max would I add control and draw out a max around here so I would I would control and click out to to invert this click out to invert this then I'm going to I go to my okay, let me change the layout for this take down the subdivision level I go to my move to move this back up a bit okay something like this should be fine then I'll go shift F to bring out this wireframe mode uh, and then I'll go to my deformation under deformation I'll do, do a relax so it should really affect where I don't have my max selection in there so I'll just drag something like this okay do something a bit more in there. I think that should be fine. Shift F to go back. Drag selection out. I feel like I've lost. Okay, I see. Feel like I've lost my details in there from the alpha. Let me check if I still have them in there. Okay. So I was having something like this before. No, I'm having this. I definitely lost the lost some of my details. Definitely lost some of my details. Let's just see how we can walk around this. I still want to keep my details. Definitely, I need to keep my details. Uh, And that is definitely making me lose lose a ton of details in there. So we just need to find a find a find a way around this. Let me push this back. Go and take down this subdivision down like so. Maybe even one. Okay. F on my keyboard to go back in here. Drag this back up. Go back to my standard brush. Okay. Got to play brush. Add back some details in here. Okay. And then I'll, let me go back and draw input my alpha. So let me go in and drag in my alpha. Need more some more intensity in here.
maybe that's a bit too much okay yeah that seems that seems fine for now okay I'll do a save do a save for this now I need to merge this down select this guy I'll subdivide that one more time then this Okay, so the level five. This also is on sub div level five. Then I'll go to my merge. I'll turn on UVs. I want to keep the UVs for this. I'll click on this and I'll click on merge down. I'll click OK. And this also I'll click on merge. Okay, turn on my UVs. Click on mesh down for this. So I have this mesh down. So let me go to my UV map and move this. No, no, there's an issue. No, there's an issue. No, there's an issue. I f I didn't keep my UVs for the other sub to Now I can't go back. I don't think I can go back. Yeah, I can't. I can't go back on this. So let me close this and reopen this guy. I saved this before I began to merge down, so I'll just repeat this step again. I want to keep the UVs for. I want to keep the UVs while merging down. Very important. Okay. Okay. So divide this, do a quick save. Then back in here, turn this off. On that merge, keep UVs. Keep UVs. Keep UVs for all of this. Starting with this, I will merge down. Okay, mesh down also for this. So now, if I should go to geometry, I take this down, go to my UV map, I'm doing morph. Now, as you can see, I have all my UVs in there, which is fine very important okay so now out where do we go from here now we can begin to let me go and take this all the way up I'll reduce this then I can start exporting my go to my Z plugin multi map exporter turn this off Okay, let's start. Let's start with the let's export our displacement. So I want to be exporting at around 4k. Should be fine. Okay, 4k. Overpaint, overpaint, border thickness. Let's flip. Is okay. 
then for my normal map I need normal map also for this export options okay sub deep level I want to be exporting this for my sub deep level 5 Okay, um, okay, take two. Okay, let me do let's do 16 bit for this. I'll leave everything as it is. Stun on screen TVs. Okay, I want to know my I'll leave the adaptive, adaptive off. Go in here, spoon UVs, spotting this from level 5 also. That's fine. Let me do a quick save. Let me save. Zip login. Checking if everything is working correctly. Uh, okay. I will, still be, I will still be exporting my cavity map also. I'll be exporting cavity map also. But for now, let me just export out my displacement and normal map. So I, I will export this and then I'll come back when this is done. So I'm not trying to figure out which, which one will work best if I should smooth my UVs or not. Okay. Smooth UVs should be, should be fine. This slider settings for steam B displacement. Okay, so I'll come back when I'm done with exports. The export of this, let me close this. All I have to do is to click on create maps and get okay. export settings, destination, destination. So click on click on create all map so I can look for a, a good destination for this. So this is for this this piece. For this piece. So let me create a new folder for this. Z maps. Z maps. I'll click save and I'll come back when this is done so it, it, it's true with that so let me do let me let me check what we have let me check check what we have Z maps our normal maps this kind of weird this kind of word but we'll, we'll see we'll, let me do let me do it let me do let me redo this ton of displacements don't know my map setting and turn this off Do an export again for this. Input two in here. So it's done with that. Let me check. I'm having the same thing. I don't know if this if this will be useful. We'll find out in a moment in Substance Painter. So let me export. Let me do an export. For this also, displacements. This smooth UV. 
4k around 4k i don't i don't need sports sports save 